Okay guys, we are back today with a new update of my new to me other car, I guess. Um, so if you would seen the other day, about last week, um, I had bought a new 2017 Ford Focus, which I still have. I mean, this is just gonna be a second car to that. Uh, primarily just to keep the mileage and wear and tear off of that, you know, just because that's a brand new car and I'm gonna be keeping it for a while, so I wanna keep it nice as well. You know, so pretty much I got on Craigslist the other day and was just looking around just for shits and giggles. Um, just when I have a little bit of free time, I'll also get a few select cars that I like or would, you know, wouldn't mind owning again. So anyways, I stumbled across this 1992 Toyota Celica GTS. Now, if you guys have been with the channel long enough, you will probably know if you go far back, far enough back, um, I owned one of these. It basically replaced my Escape that had blown up. And anyways, sold that Celica to get the Windstar and, you know, the rest is history. But um, I only owned that car for maybe two and a half months. And that was pretty much one of my favorite cars I've owned. I mean, you know, besides the Focus Wagon, that and, you know, the Celica were probably about my two favorite cars I've owned. And when I had stumbled across this... Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I really didn't think I would find another good condition Selk. I mean, my last one was not the best of shape, but it was better than a lot of them out there. Um, but I did not think I would stumble across a cleaner GTS again. Um, that's pretty much the only way I'd buy another Celica is in this, in this exact, the way this one's configured. Um, but yeah, so the guy was asking a little bit much for it considering it does need a few things but anyways I threw him an offer and he took it um, which is pretty much I'm pretty sure he took it just because he knew there was a few things wrong with it as well and you know there's no way I was going to pay $2,500 for a car that needed you know probably a good thousand dollars worth of work so anyways got him down quite a bit and um, so yeah pretty much I bought it yesterday so I've had it for about 24 hours and I've done quite a bit to it um, I've just done pretty much all clean up work to it so we'll get started here it's the white exterior color i don't know the specific name i do have the window sticker and all there's a lot of original paperwork with it as well so we'll be able to check that out once we get to the interior but this is the white exterior color not every single panel is perfect i'd say they're all perfect besides the front bumper obviously the headlight right here and this front bumper um, I guess from what the previous owner's father was telling me, um, there was some sort of fender bender last year. So they had to get a new fender for it. I believe this is new as well. And the, they bent the hood back out or something, as you can see right here. Um, so I, I guess it, it looks, it appears to me, I mean, there's they, it did quite a bit of damage. So they did the best they could to straighten it all out or whoever fixed it. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, Overall, it looks pretty good. I mean, I it doesn't really bother me. All the it's all complete. The only thing I need to get is this carbon fiber lip right here, and I have a few Celicas in my junkyard that I could get that piece for ten dollars off of. Um, my last Celica had the same issue, and that's what it was. So, yeah, I mean, that's the only mismatched part on it. So I, I would eventually want to get the car all sorted out, and if I do want to keep it. I probably will get a paint job done to it. I just, I don't know when or if I, if I will. So this is just a really clean example for what it is. Um, other than that, this is pretty much the only exterior rust on the vehicle. I'm going to try to sand this down eventually, probably in the fall, maybe next spring or something, if I do have it still. Um, so I'll probably just sand that down and just put some Bondo over it at that point. You know, it'll just, it'll get rid of the rust though. Everything else is pretty solid. Um, no rust through here like my other one. So, you know, it's going to be being driven through winter. So I'm just going to do my best to keep it clean. But um, it's it's pretty solid. So other than that little spot right there. But, you know, it's over 25 years old. I mean, the, the previous owners, the past three previous owners, I believe, definitely done their best to take care of the car i mean it, it wouldn't be where it is today without that care so um yeah and also the front bumper has been i believe this was in the wreck as well so like they just it, it appears to have been rattle canned um, it is what it is i it, it doesn't really bother me i could easily get a front clip for this as well so you know it's just little things like that um so those, the headlights do work and the fog lights both work 
Um, when I had got the, got it, this fog light didn't work. It was just the clip that plugs into the into the fog light itself. Um, the clip it broke, so I just had to put some electrical tape around it, and it works again. So, and it looks like there's a little bit of rust right there, but that's just surface. So, um, we do have 15 inch alloy wheels all the way around. They all does have four wheel disc brakes. Have some discount tire special tires right there, and some road hoggers up front. The car does need an alignment. I would probably say it, the alignment got fucked up when the uh, accident happened. So hopefully we don't have any issues there with the alignment, but um, I'll get that out in the next few weeks. This is the original exhaust system right here. It has my other Celco. The one tip actually fell off, so I'm not even going to play with these, taking these tips off. I'll just polish them under there when I have time. Um, so yeah, I mean overall, I mean I whack, I clay barred the car today, which there wasn't too much dirt in the paint, but I just did it anyways, and I waxed it. It came out all right. The roof is faded. It's it's pretty dull white, but I mean it's just it's just gonna take some more three-step paint work. But again, I'm not too worried about that. So what else? That's pretty much as far as I know on the exterior. I'm sure we'll find some more things over time, but as of now, I've only had it for a day, and um, I've done quite a bit to it. We also do have the original 90s antenna, which does work. I was pleasantly surprised for that. Also do have that right there. I thought that was pretty cool. And then coming over to the interior, this is what really made me buy the car. Um, it's pretty much, I'd, I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10, aside from this seam right here, which if you do know your Celicas, all the leather models with some age, the seam right there breaks, and it just needs to be re -sewn. So this car, as you can see right there, has like this janky ass Toyota alarm system. Um, it goes off when the door is open, I don't even know. But um, I pulled the horn fuse just because it's got the um, Japanese horn that just is so obnoxious, so it's already done it to me a few times. I pulled the fuse and all you have to do is just hit the, that button and it goes off. I need to find a way to disassemble that all together, but um, yeah, just make sure you have your key fob on you. And also, yeah, you do have key remotes and they are both Toyota. Um, and you have the two original keys, so that was really cool to see as well. So I was really happy about that. Um, just little things like that really just make it cool. We also have the lighted keyhole, which I always thought was pretty neat. E-brake, it doesn't pull up. They, the previous, the uh, the guy that I talked to that I bought it from, he said that it, he's pulled up on it. I don't know if he ever had, but it's it's like stuck. So I'm, I just throw it in gear because I don't want to lock that up or anything. So, um, oh, 2.2 liter, four cylinder starts right up. Um, I'm gonna do a tune up to it over time, but as of now, it seems to run all right. Do have the ABS light on, which they all do that, and the airbag light. I do need to do a few hacks to get that off, but um, I know how to do it. Um, door panels are all soft touch. You have some leather stitching in here, and it's just all solid, just 90s stuff. I mean, it's really nice. Um, you do have the Super 10 sound system from Toyota. So you do have, it's a 10 speaker audio system, basically. You have two tweeters right here, a speaker here, a speaker here. Um, speaker down there and then you have the tweeters back there so I mean for what it is it's a very solid sounding audio system and for 25 year old speakers now I don't know if they've been replaced at all but they do look original they sound pretty good none of them are blown or anything so um, that was pretty cool as well do have a leather wrapped wheel this is the gray interior um, so the leather isn't perfect but it could be a lot worse so I'm happy with that this just keeps your headlights if you want to pop them up you can leave them on like that. There's your parking lights, then your, head, your headlights, fog lights right there. And again, mileage for this video is 196, 608. As you can see, I've only put maybe around 170 miles on it. So yeah, I mean, I have not owned it very long at all. Five speed, manual of course, with reverse. Um, now the clutch, I do believe it needs to get, an, it needs a new clutch. I'm gonna try to tackle that myself. If not, I'll take it somewhere. I don't anticipate it costing too much, but we'll have to get that all sorted out before we go any farther with this. Um, and if and if it's going to be something extensive, I'll just get rid of the car. But 
I would like to keep it, you know, just because it's, I don't think I'll find a cleaner car than this out there. So um, down here, this is the security system. I played with this. I can't get it to do anything. So I don't know if I should just clip the wire under there. Or I'm going to find, I'm going to look on the forums and see if I can disable this because I don't know if this is going to go off in the middle of the night and just drain my battery. We'll see. It does have the original radio. Um, that's pretty cool as well. I'm glad it has the original over an aftermarket just because it keeps with the cool 90s theme here. Um, if you now if you push this knob, the antenna does go up. So, and if you push the button in, it goes goes back down, of course. So I don't know if it's supposed to go down all the way. If it is, I can put some oil on it and see if it loosens up. But if not, no big deal. Um, again, passenger seat's in really good shape. I conditioned them, so you know we'll see how we how they get over time but back seats are in pretty much mint condition i'd say no one's ever ridden back there if not a few times but it's in pretty much overall great shape do have the, the lights up there headliner is really nice soft plush moonroof does work um lighting right here and you have an accessory leather console i guess it's nice and padded and it's raised so that's nice and you also have your lumbar support and your bolster in here then this one actually does have the original window sticker so feel free to pause that if you want and we'll pull up, pop the hood trunk we'll wrap the video up because it is getting pretty long now sure there'll be plenty more videos on this car if i do end up getting everything fixed on it um trunk everything like i said the interior is complete so uh, of course, there's a spare tire under there, and then you have the tweeters right here, which my last cell gun did not have. Yeah, they were just missing. Um, so you have some storage in there, and I'll fix that after the video. But there it is. I actually had ended up yesterday shampooing the whole interior. I extracted everything, and it's just the interior is freshly detailed. Uh, the car wasn't filthy when I bought it. It's just I'd rather get it dirty with my dirt and rather than have someone else's. So um, if that makes any sense, but. Overall, it was pretty clean. That needs a few things, though. I mean, the power steering, I'd probably, I'm going to end up um, flushing that. Just doing all the fluids and things. Um, there it is. I cleaned it up today. Got a lot of the dirt and grease out of it. It needs a little bit more, but overall, it came out really good. Um, does have a ghetto intake on it. I don't even know. I don't even care about that, but whatever. Um, battery ended up dying, which... It was seven years old, it's to be expected, so I got a new battery today. Um, one of my buddies works at the auto parts store here in my area, and he hooked me up with that battery for like $39. Um, it was just in the shop for a year, and they never sold it, so after a year or so, they had to discount their parts, and he was able to find that for me, so it was, like I said, $39, so that was great. Um, it's going to save me some money on some of the maintenance that's going to be needing done to this. So overall, I do believe it's a pretty solid car. Once you get all the little quirks um, fixed fixed out on it. So, yeah, guys, there it is, the new Celica. As usual, guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you all later.